Hi, I'm Chad Kapotic, Quality Control Manager here at Deering Banjo Company. Today we're going to go over how to tighten and tune up our Deering True Tone tailpiece. This tailpiece can be found on majority of our Deering, Vega, and Tenbrooks line banjos. This tailpiece has a lot of adjustment built into it, and it needs to be tightened up and tuned just like your head does. And it's a good idea when tuning your head to go ahead and tune up your tailpiece. Number one way to tell your tailpiece is out of adjustment is to give it a little, little thunk. That thunk will often resonate through the rest of the drum. You don't want to hear anything like that. It needs to be nice and dead. The advantage of this tailpiece is that it kills a lot of the overtones that most other tailpieces provide. We don't want those overtones interfering with the actual tone of the banjo. So we're going to go through and adjust it. Another way to check the adjustment is to make sure that the tailpiece is touching the tension hoop. This tailpiece, as you can see, is setting above the tension hoop. And we want that tailpiece in connection with that tension hoop so that it helps dampen any vibrations that may happen. The tools you'll need to accomplish this job is a flathead screwdriver, a quarter inch T-wrench. This is the same wrench you'll use, you would use to tighten the head on this banjo. These can be found at DeeringBanjos.com as well as a nice tuner so we can tune it up when we're done and a nice care cloth so we can wipe off all our greasy fingerprints once we're finished. So step one we're going to remove the resonator by removing these four thumb screws. Set them off to the side along with the resonator. So the next step, we're going to remove this small angle adjustment screw so we can get access to the attachment screw. To remove that, put a little light pressure on the front of the tailpiece and back it out. Now I'll use my flathead screwdriver and my quarter inch T-wrench to tighten this nut up. Now we're going to tighten this until we see the tailpiece make uh, connection with the tension hoop. Once it makes connection, we're going to stop. We don't want to over tighten it and start bending the bracket or the tailpiece itself. So as you can see, the tailpiece is now making a nice firm connection with the tension hoop. And we can already start hearing it go a lot deader in tone and that's going to allow the strings to really come out and make beautiful music. Now we're going to adjust the angle of the tailpiece with this angle set screw. I'm going to start by threading that back in and all this needs to be done without the screwdriver. I'm going to put a light amount of pressure on the front of the tailpiece putting just a touch of extra down pressure on the back of the bridge and give that screw a couple turns in until it makes connection with the back plate. Once it does, release the tension on the front and you should not be able to back that screw out with your fingers. Don't use the screwdriver because you can start to over tighten it and bend the tailpiece. Once we have that accomplished, there's no extra sound coming out of the tailpiece and it's perfectly adjusted. Now we can reinstall the resonator and tune it back up. So now that we're tuned back up, we're ready to wipe off all of our greasy fingerprints and play some beautiful banjo music. This care cloth, we want to gently wipe down everywhere we've touched on the nickel plating because fingerprints contain some acid and natural oils in the skin that eats and etches uh, into the nickel plating on your banjo. This care cloth helps remove those, makes the shine of your banjo last for a lot longer. And that's how you adjust your Deering True Tone tailpiece. You want to make sure and check the adjustment every time you change your strings every few weeks 
we do get phone calls from artists and other musicians while traveling the road that will have the tailpiece fall off because their adjustment gets so far out. Want to make sure we stay on top of this so your banjo plays right for a very long time. Thanks for watching. For any further information on tech videos, tech tips, or model specifications, be sure to check out DeeringBanjos.com. Feel free to give us a call, and we'll see you next time.